let's go from the minute we step on the field, let's get into their face, let's give ourselves a chance from the get-go and not at halftime or 20 minutes in, and uh, let's be give ourselves a chance to win it at the end. And the guys did all of the above. So in terms of the approach and how we took the field and how we played through the entire match, uh, I'm really proud of the guys' efforts. Todd, how was it playing uh, in front of a crowd like this? No, it was great. Um, you know, since we uh, we flew in, we, we knew it was going to be a sellout, and the uh, city of Philadelphia did a great job. Um, great hotel, great city. We saw a couple of sides, and, uh, you know, uh, coming here and, and playing in front of a packed, packed crowd and uh, with the chant of USA, and, and uh, you know, really, really helped us out, and, you know, I'm just proud of the boys that, that responded well. And just uh, we left some points on the board. And that's, uh, that's about it. Kim, what about you? This is a first major international here at home. Um, man of the match. Congratulations. What was it like playing in front of this crowd tonight? Uh, you know, anytime you get a sold out crowd in the in the United States, you know, for uh, for rugby, it's it's a phenomenal honor. Uh, as far as man of matches is concerned, uh, it's an honor as well. But at the end of the day, it's a team game. You know, there's 15 of your brothers on the field with you. So uh, you know, I, I give that I give this to them. You know, we we all ran hard. We tackled. You know, we were all over the pitch. We gave, we gave it all our all for 80 plus minutes, and uh, you know, we we came up short. But you know, we got them some uh, some some stuff to work on, and uh, you know, we'll bring it to Georgia next weekend. Well, Pre-Ankaka, I mean, you guys are talking about whatever's going on in there right now. Um, is that a cool experience for you guys just to see that tradition and history in action? Yeah, I mean, you know, anybody that. Uh, that that knows rugby, knows the New Zealand Blacks, knows the, the Haka, and uh, you know, facing it, um, you know, it's, it's, it's an honor and uh, be, able to, be able to pitch with them, and you know, it's uh, it, it pumps us up as, as much as it pumps them up. I feel, and uh, you know, especially you know, with, with, a, with a crowd like that, um, it's uh, it's just good fun. Brian Bowers in soccer. Uh, Todd, you have a lot of youngsters on the field with you tonight. How? What's your opinion of their play tonight? Yeah, it's great. I mean, uh, you know, it's uh, it's good to have uh, have new faces and uh, the new energy that, that new players come in to camp and, and, and what they bring in. And uh, it's a big test for them to play against a, a side like that. And you know, uh, you know, told the boys you don't have any regrets uh, coming off the pitch. And uh, the young guys, you know, stood up to the challenge. And uh, you know. It's a. Uh, it's gonna. I think it's gonna be a tough decision for, for Coach Tolkien to make, and you know, tough decisions on, on, on personnel is, is always a good good sign that, that we're building and uh, with our depth and, and guys uh, guys want to be here and, and put their bodies on the line and that's uh, that's, that's really good for us moving forward. What's to say about USA soccer? Any of you could take this. I mean, USA rugby to have this many fans come out and just a complete sellout to know your guys are getting on the map now. Um, is it compared to U.S. soccer? No, I was a mess up. I mean, what's this say about USA rugby to have this kind of match and just a full stadium? What it says about you know your game and your level getting more mainstream? Yeah, no, it's, I mean you know getting uh, getting TV coverage is, uh, has been the biggest problem for us moving forward of of uh, you know getting getting more fans and getting more knowledge out to the, the U.S. public. Um, it's it's always baseball, football, you know, and, and uh, basketball. And uh, now, now that we're, we're able to uh, host these, these, uh, these big events uh, on great stadiums, uh, like we had in Houston and here in Philadelphia, um, it's a sellout crowd. I mean, it's, uh, it's got to raise some, raise some real eyebrows and, and get more interest into, uh, into our sport. And, um, I mean, there's, uh, it's, a, it's the fastest growing team sport uh, in the U.S. And it's, uh, it's, it's great to see all, all the young boys and girls come out and have red balls and get signatures and really get into it. And, and along with more people like that, more sponsors can come through, and, and the rugby is just going to keep uh, keep going up. We had a fun little interaction with the fans at the end. Yeah, I mean, you know, it's uh, it's just a little thing that we can thank thank the fans of, of going around and, and uh, you know us applauding them and uh, us showing you know how, how much we appreciate them um, and you know we, we do it for them and and, and uh, they, they really helped us through that uh, that tough game and uh, it's great having us uh, you know an awesome crowd behind us. Last question. Mike, you guys are uh, going to Georgia and then to Russia uh, as part of this tour now. Uh, what can you take from this match heading into those two matches? I think the, the experience, you know, um, the guys, obviously, they played the hearts out and brought it physically um, and mentally. Uh, now it's execution. 
you know, for a lot of these guys, uh, they just came up with domestic season or haven't played much at all. And to play that first game uh, so many times, you get rid of all the, the bad stuff and you, you, you learn from it. And you play against one of the, the most crafty bunch of guys at the tackle area. Uh, you bring it into your next game. So things about the mistakes that happened that game that cost us the win. Uh, you know, you admit it, you see it, you learn from it, and we don't do them again. You know, that's what we always say in the, in the squad. And uh, that'll be the big thing, the learning curve from game one to game two. And that experience will, will be massive going into those two. Awesome. Great. Thank you very much, guys. Thank you. That's what you'll get back home. It was outstanding. I thought it was a great atmosphere, um, and it really inspired the USA. And it, you know, and they kept coming. And so, you know, big raps to the crowd, and a big raps the way um, the USA brought the game to us. And how's this tour been? Uh, I know over the years, there's a lot of words that the uh, New Zealand Māori tours put in some of the other international tours. It sounds like the guys are having a bit of fun with it. Yeah, I think I think we um, you know deserve to celebrate uh, you know a tough tough whatever it was it really was a tough win out there tonight. Um, it's been a it's been a really uh, it's been a great tour. It really has. Um, we've, the boys have been outstanding from my point of view in terms of um, you know, really showing up. We really wanted to bring this team to a new level in terms of professionalism, and um, um, we wanted you know, our, our goals at the start of the campaign were to to want people to connect to the team. We wanted to be open and approachable with with you guys. Um, we wanted to be, um, first and foremost, a really outstanding side, but we wanted to connect to people and, and bring and showcase what we can do as, as Māori people in New Zealand and and, uh, and show a bit of rugby from what, from our side of the world um, to a place where rugby's not so strong, um, or not so strong, sorry, it's wrong, wrong words, or not so um, dominant. Um, um, so I think it's been a, a success. Now the guys in the team, I mean, there's so much history in the New Zealand Māori, how much is that? There's a huge amount of, uh, as you say, history in the side, and, and that history is, is really successful. Um, so there's, there's a lot to live up to in that, in that sense. Um.